A bistro, lounge, bar and art space lie behind the vault's four walls. But what value can the new kid on the F&B block provide to Singapore's thriving nightlife? The name takes a cue from the original space, the former 1930s OCBC Bank on South Bridge Road. On the eve of its launch, we get a walkthrough of what you can expect when it reaches 100% completion in the next month. And we're here along South Bridge Road at the latest edition of the Singapore nightlife scene and that is the vault I'm here with. is a co-owner and co-director, Gordon Ferreira. Nice Hi to meet guys. you. Hi guys. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Uh, nice the last time you. we spoke actually was at uh, the opening of uh, Yang Yang Bar, the rooftop yeah, bar, quite right? Yeah, some time ago, yeah. Quite some time ago. Yeah. Um, so maybe you can tell me uh, what has happened since then until now. I guess we progressed up the ladder. Right. If you want to call it that way, I guess. Sure. How did you and your and your uh, co-owner, co-director Russ, actually come up uh, with this idea of the vault? What have you uh, learned okay. from your collective experience? Well, that's a long time from learning, bro. It's like 20 years in the industry, so it's a very long time. But um, we kind of got together and we were looking for a space to do something relatively different in a more low-key area. And we stumbled upon this baby right behind me. That's it. Uh, it was actually one of the first few OCBC outlets in Singapore. The building was set up in uh, 1938. It was a bank until about 2001, and then it turned into a different trade. It became a party shop. For party supplies. Party supplies. So basically the most important question is actually what, what do you think the fall is sort of like adding to the Singapore nightlife landscape? Is there anything missing that you guys are trying to sort of um, fill? I guess what we're trying to do is we're trying to inject a little bit of flavor into the Chinatown area. Right. You know, um, most of the action is actually in Club Street, but nothing really goes on much in the main street. So we want to take up the challenge of doing that on the main street. What's really important is actually getting people to feel comfortable in the space. And most importantly, to be themselves in a space where they can forget about work, they can forget about the world, and be themselves and have a drink and appreciate some art. And that's what we're, we're, we're going to do here. We're actually going to, Gordon's going to take me through like uh, the whole default and basically he's going to talk us through like the aesthetic decisions, what yeah. you preserve from, from the old bank, yep. and obviously uh, how it sort of like adds the flavor of yep. the vault. Yep. So let's go check it out, guys. Hey. Okay. This is the, the, the entrance of the vault. Yeah. Yes, Obviously it is. we have like yep. a, a vault door, right? It's the actual vault door that was right. installed in the 1930s. The door itself is 1.5 tons. The frame is another 1.5 tons. Right. So we had to weld a separate structure to actually put the whole door together and to make it stand the way it is and to actually support the whole structure with the cement. So that was quite a task. This was such a strong feature that we had to bring from the back right to the front. The door acts as a mechanism to transform your state of mind. Right. So when people come through, they open the, the vault door and we get into the restaurant, right? Yep, you go into the bistro first, yeah. Coming up in the next clip, we head on in and up to the second level where the party is just getting started. Godwin walks us through the art space, VIP areas and all things music coming to the vault.